Good day to all you glorious, glorious Devil Hunter bastards. My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on Pika Combat, the game that we like to describe as Wallet May Cry because it wants to separate you from your cash and make your wallet cry. <laughs> this video is to all my free to play players out there who, you know, you haven't pulled Endless Judgment Virgil. You're looking to try to make a good unit, and I got you covered, okay? Because Look on the screen, we have Dante, and legitimately, this is probably going to be, I have to make a correction to my tier list, this is probably going to be one of the best basic units you can have. And let's go through and explain why. All right. Going into the Hunter's page is where we need to first start off when we're discussing our Dante, okay? Now, the correction to this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say like this. I had a friend of mine, Valk, who actually went go read everything about this character because he's playing Del May Cry as well with me. Every now and then he gets in, he plays a little bit and he doesn't have too much time, but he went go read something and brought something to my attention. I look at characters in two different ways. I look at, you know, how much fun I have playing the character versus the uh versus the unit itself and its toolkit well with dante i never really looked at his toolkit and let's take a look at his toolkit and let's see about trying to make him the best basic free-to-play character on your list now this all determines on you getting shards at the same point in time for dante which in all honesty hasn't been hard there is multiple ways of getting shards and the way i'm talking about it is is like for example if we go to menu we go to our exchange I believe and we come down to yeah to like our guild exchange every week we can go ahead and buy you know several shards five shards which gives you a little bit of a level on top and then the game gives you random fragment chests every now and then which includes a lot of Nero's and Dante's most of the time so with Dante that's pretty much how I've leveled them up in the sense and plus you can go get his not his hell weapon but you can get the Blade of Security right here, which is a legendary weapon, which also is really pretty good so far. It's not the Hell weapon, but hey, I'm basing on what I got so far. Now, why do I say that this character is going to be, you know, a very, very good, basically an A tier character, if not almost S tier? And how do we build that? Well, let's take a look at the talents. And let's scroll down all the way from B. What you should be looking at and what you should be reading on these characters is the talents. Perfect hit. If the last strike of the basic attack in mid airs on Devil Trigger, you gain 20% MP. If Stylish Rank, you gain a bonus 6%. I have 6, uh, 6, not percent, but 6. While in the lineup, not in battle, you gain 25 MP every second. Basically, that means your Devil Trigger is building up whether he's being played or not. When we get to S tier finally on the character, we start hitting, you know, with Stinger while Devil Trigger raises physical damage increased by 20% for the next 16 seconds. It doesn't stack. Uh, when we get S plus, which I believe that's uh, we're almost uh, where I'm at, which is SS. When activated Grand Slam, you gain 90 MP and increased damage of Grand Slam by 45%. Listen to what we're, listen to what we're getting here. <clears throat> When a Grand Slam hits a target and applies Foul Ball to the target, increased physical damage to the target takes 20% for the next 16 seconds. Okay, this is all sounding basic, right? And then SS Plus, we get 25. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. When we hit this character, though, to SSS, inside the park Homer, while in Devil Triggered, Increase the defense by 20% and the crit rate by 60. Increase the crit rate by 60. If we can get him unlocked to SSS, our crit rate goes up by 60%. So the way you should be building this character is straight up get a little bit of crit rate, you know, get your grid rate up maybe up to 80%. And put everything into damage and the phantom cards pretty much are your best bet because bleed gauge which dante also calls as a bleed gauge that's 20 percent. so 60 plus if they're bleeded your crit rate now is 80 percent 
and then your crit damage is also multiplied again with another 20% on top. The math don't lie. Like, legitimately, this makes Dante one hell of a character. And plus, it doesn't take long to get MP. Last time you played Dante, how long did it take you to get to Devil Trigger? It doesn't take long with the character. Like, you use Devil Trigger, you get out of Devil Trigger, you use you get back into Devil Trigger pretty much. And then if we can get some MP regen built onto it, it would be great. So I'm saying, like, in terms, like, right now, what I'm looking for, and I'm going to be changing these cards out. They're only level ones and everything. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking and getting the, the Bleed Gauge Efficiency up right here. This is why this card is in here. I wanted to start looking for cards that is based around my attack. MP regen overall damage but what i'm going to be looking for here also is to add like crit rate not crit damage if we get a crit rate damage card like we did for virgil because there is one on virgil which we'll go to real quick i think virgil's cards would be perfect as well on him but virgil has a couple of different ones and one of the crit and one of them right here is the crit damage which is at 48 percent, which makes him go at 103 crit damage these cards probably would be also really good on Dante. Really good because we get the crit rate bonus, the crit damage bonus, and the attack. But this would mean that for a basic unit that we are playing and that we're leveling up, when he reaches SSS, this character would be a powerhouse. And there's no specific runes for him, really. I mean... We can just use, keep the same runes we got for Virgil right now on the flaw resins. I mean, increase the attack thing and then increases 12% more efficiency of damage against, you know, enemies that are bled to where we, later on when we upgrade, it will be at 36%. So comparably, like to all my Dante players out there, Demon Hunter Dante is really fucking good. I know he's not as flashy as Fist of Salvation. I know he's not going to be as good as royal guard and with the damage i'll put there i'm gonna make a video about that one later and it's not gonna be you know as flashy and musical as one man show here but for free to play for my free to play players that is you know sleeping on this character you should totally be you should if you're not pulling virgils you're not pulling good characters this is the character you should be looking into seriously you should be looking he's don't sleep on the damage. Build the character up get, if you can. Work to get him to SSS and get that crit rate, and you're going to see a totally different character at that point. You're going to see a character that is going to be doing damage like Endless Judgment Virgil. Probably not as good. That's what. That's why I'm saying. But I'm building up to get to this point, and I recommend people, you know, yourselves, to build up. I think that, you know, I believe there is a hell grade weapon, which we're going to go take a look at real quick. Yeah. Gain 100 MP. Immediate gain MP or explosiveness upon entering a battle. 200 for basic. 6%, 7% damage overall. 10% at level 5. 500 MP. This is a good weapon form. I mean, that's a good weapon. I mean, I actually kind of like this one a little bit better, to be honest, because the increases of damage is 8%, yes. But if the hunter equipped with this weapon triggers another hunter's QTE, the increased overall damage of the hunter who is entered through QTE gaining 16% for 15 seconds. That's that's really good. That's really good. Uh, after activating st uh, style skill, increase overall damage for 10% for six seconds. And it does not say it does stack or doesn't stack. So that's really good too, in my personal opinion. I honestly think that maybe this weapon might be a little bit better just for the buff. Because looking at the buffs on this, he's a supportive character in a sense. So yeah, we get the damage increase. We gain the MP, but we get a perk in here to where if you add this with like Endless Judgment Virgil or any other character, we're going to be buffing out the fuck out of people and like with QTE, you know, overall damage humper enters through QTE battle for eight minutes. But if we max this out, if we max it out 16%, that's pretty good. And then this right here for style skill, overall damage for 10% for six seconds. That's pretty good too. 
So that is what I'm going to say for our good old Hunter Dante here. So our Demon Hunter Dante, yes. I think, especially right now, I'm going to say he's more of a, a B tier still. But once you unlock SSS, you get the shards and you level it up to here. I legitimately think once this is activated, he's going to be really great. Everything else comes into play with like EX and everything. Devil Trigger increased damage by 70% when his EX is fucking amazing. But that does not come into anywhere. The 60% crit rate is what's getting to me. And that's why, yes, don't sleep on Dante. Work on Dante. Build Dante. He'll be a good basic unit for you. And he'll be a good unit for the team in general. So that's what I got for you. Take what you want from it. Um, leave me your comments below if you think I'm right, if I'm wrong. And uh, until next time, take it easy. I'll catch you on the flip side. Check out our streams, which we do daily. And uh, see you later. Bye.